In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a force meter and then how to improve it. To start with, you need a cup with a loop of string attached to, some 100 gram masses, a piece of card, a spring, a couple of paper clips, and a pencil. I'm going to swap my pencil for a big fat pen so you can see what I'm doing. Begin by attaching your paper clips to your spring. Then on one paper clip, attach your cup and on the other one, your piece of card. Next, pick a point to measure from. I've picked where the spring meets the paper clip. Next to that point, put a mark on the card. Then, add a 100 gram mass and do the same thing. Keep adding 100 gram masses, putting marks next to that point you picked. Here's the bit of physics we need. Weight is mass times gravity. We need to write our mass in kilograms. 100 grams is 0.1 kilogram. And on Earth, gravity is 9.81, which is about 10. 0.1 times 10 is 1. So each of our 100 gram masses causes a weight of 1 Newton. If we put those numbers against the marks from earlier, then we finished our basic version of a force meter. Time to make it much better. Every time I add 100 grams, the spring stretches exactly the same amount. However, when I measure the distance between my marks, they're different. This is because of human error. So to reduce that as much as possible, I can take my different measurements, find the mean, and then I can make a new force meter with that mean reading as the distance between all my marks. My next improvement is going to make my force meter much more accurate. What I want to do is add marks so I can measure to the nearest 0.1 Newton. To do this, I take the distance between my lines, which for me is 3.56, and then I divide that by 10, which gives me 0.356. So I'm going to try and put marks every 0.36 centimeters, which is roughly 3.5 millimeters, and I'm going to do that all down my scale. Now that's done, I can answer those really important questions in life, such as, what's the weight of a cup of tea? <laughs> 